An emergency is no time for on-the-job training. It is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the contents of this video. The emergency response kit, recommended practices, and installation procedures before an emergency occurs. This video is not a substitute for in-depth training or specific handling techniques or emergency response procedures. In the event of a leaking valve or fitting, it is critical that appropriate steps be taken immediately to mitigate the leak. Anyone involved in capping a leak should follow their company's procedures and manufacturer's material safety data sheets, MSDS, regarding personal protective equipment. Note that in the event of an actual tank car leak, you would be required to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. For purposes of this video demonstration, the participants are only wearing minimal safety equipment. Let's examine the procedure for stopping leaks from an angle valve. If the leak is through the side port of the angle valve, the first step should be to make sure the valve is closed. The next step should be to check the outlet flange bolts for tightness. Retighten all four bolts on the outlet flange. If the valve is closed and the outlet flange is secure, the next step is to tighten the pipe plug. If the leak is coming from below the valve mounting flange, tighten down the flange nuts nearest the leak and then alternating one, three, two, four. Leaks involving vapor angle valves should be handled in the same manner as liquid angle valves. If the leak persists, back out the pipe plug. Use extreme caution when doing this because the tank is under pressure. If the volume of the leak substantially increases as the plug is loosened and does not slow down after a moment or two, retighten the pipe plug and again check to ensure that the valve is closed. If the valve is securely closed and the leak persists, the next step is to cap the valve using a capping kit. We will cover this procedure in the containing a leak section of this video. However, if the leak increases as the plug is loosened and then begins to slow down to a seep, remove the plug. Using the wire brush from the toolbox, clean the male threads of the pipe plug and dislodge any debris from the female threads of the angle valve's port. Next, wrap the male thread of the pipe plug clockwise with four to six wraps of Teflon thread tape. Next, reinsert the pipe plug into the valve port. Be careful not to cross the threads. Wrench the pipe plug into the valve port using an 18 inch or longer pipe wrench so that the pipe plug will seal. If the leak is found in the packing gland of the angle valve, tightening the valve packing gland may stop the leak. If the leak is found in the packing gland of the angle valve and the valve has an adjustable packing gland held in place by a top lock nut, loosen the lock nut without loosening the packing screw. Then tighten the packing screw with a wrench using approximately 60 foot-pounds of torque. If the valve adjustment is made by tightening down two stud nuts, Wrench down the nuts alternately until tight. Be careful not to strip the threads.